In the perplexing saga of YouTube's eerie character, Zazef the Girl Hugger, we witness the unsettling descent of a once mysterious figure. Zazef, originally known for peculiar content, took a disconcerting turn that left viewers questioning the boundaries of online presence. Initially, Zazef intrigued audiences with an enigmatic allure. His videos, shrouded in an air of mystery, showcased an eccentric persona that drew people in. However, the intrigue soon transformed into discomfort as Zazef's content took a dark and unsettling path. The shift began with a series of videos under the moniker The Girl Hugger. What started as an odd fascination with hugging girls quickly spiraled into something much more disturbing. Zazef's once cryptic charm turned into a source of concern as his videos began to cross ethical boundaries. Introducing the tale of Game Boy ZZ, born Alexander Roden, who ventured into the world of YouTube at the tender age of 12. His initial videos showcased Alex as an avid gamer, reminiscent of a youthful and amiable character. In these early recordings, he openly discussed a range of tech and gaming fascinations, spanning from the latest Windows operating systems to his collection of handheld gaming consoles. Unmistakably, his love for the game RuneScape became a recurring theme. RuneScape? Oh, I've been immersed in it for quite some time now. Trust me, if you're not playing it, you're missing out big time, he would enthusiastically proclaim. Little did he know that the allure of Homescape would gradually take hold of Alex's life, leading him to spend nearly every waking hour outside of school in the virtual realm. We've all experienced those times, but this devotion came at a cost, turning him into a recluse. The predicament? Well, it turned out that girls weren't exactly lining up to be a part of his life, much to his dismay. Unexpected hug encounter. With a candid tone, Alex began sharing his struggles with romance through his YouTube channel. Valentine's Day, he mused, was perhaps one of the most overrated holidays, attributing his sentiment to the challenges it brought. Valentine's Day, it's just, it's a tough one, he would reflect, acknowledging the difficulties he faced in the realm of relationships. Enduring the constant ebb of misfortune, life for him is pretty much a relentless struggle. His meticulous documentation extended to both the highs and lows of his interactions with real-world girls. One particularly infamous early video bore the title, Unexpected hug encounter, where he joyfully shares a momentous achievement with his audience, being hugged by his female cousin. A disturbing video of Zazef took over social media, where he discloses with a quirky enthusiasm saying, so something wild happened today. Brace yourselves. I got a hug. Yes, from a girl. She's quite the catch, by the way. And believe it or not, she happens to be my cousin. But hey, a hug is a hug, right? This seemingly absurd video surprisingly catapulted him into the viral limelight on YouTube, attracting a wave of new followers. The uncertainty lingered among the audience. Was Zazef sincere or just crafting an elaborate comedic performance? Regardless, he exuded a lovable nerd vibe, reminiscent of a character like McLovin, drawing viewers in. Rooting for Zazef's quest to find love, viewers tuned in to witness his subsequent endeavors. However, the fates seemed to have a different plan. A seemingly innocent, playful tap on the shoulder led to an unexpected cascade of events. A chilly rejection, a water bottle unleashed, and suddenly, everything, including including him and his camera, was drenched. In the aftermath of this waterlogged misadventure, Zazef reflects on his romantic prospects with a resigned humor. Well, I guess a good girlfriend is just not in the cards for me now, he concedes, leaving his viewers to ponder the unpredictable journey. A social outcast. As Alex approached the end of high school in 2013, a notable shift occurred in his YouTube content. The era of discussing RuneScape took a back seat, making way for a peculiar focus on his interactions with girls on his second channel, Z. The journey down this rabbit hole marked a bizarre turn, where the distinction between authenticity and trolling became increasingly elusive. Videos like Failed Valentine's Attempt and Poking Prank Gone Wrong showcased Alex's foray into self-deprecating humor, poking fun at his struggles to secure a girlfriend. The humor took a peculiar turn as he weaved fictional tales of rejection, seemingly embracing the notion that he was a social outcast for comedic effect. In his video, he was caught saying absurd things like, I spot this girl, tried the classic Be My Valentine line, and she just burst into laughter. Can you believe it? She laughed, said no, and walked away. I mean, come on, I even had to chase her down. Then, just for kicks, I pulled out a knife and, well, you can imagine the rest, he quipped in a mock, serious tone, blurring the line between satire and unsettling fiction. Z's persona fluctuated between a comedic troll and an socially awkward oddball, leaving viewers perplexed about the authenticity behind the character. As Alex matured and his videos became bolder, the lines blurred further, obscuring his true emotions. In 2014, Alex 
comics delved into a prank series that leaned heavily into the theme of him being an ince. These pranks involved him approaching women in public with pickup lines from his comments section. While some moments elicited laughter, the overall tone often veered into uncomfortable territory, with hints of harassment. I almost ripped the girl in six flights because she hugged me, he nonchalantly shared, leaving viewers to grapple with the increasingly perplexing and unsettling nature of Z's online persona. In the realm of peculiar encounters, Alex ventured into uncharted territory with his unique pickup lines. The scene unfolded as he approached a stranger with the classic inquiry, Is your mom single? The dialogue took an unexpected turn as he professed a penchant for older women, leading to an amusing exchange. Do you give my rocket power? He quizzically asked, leaving the other person bewildered. The phrase seemed to carry an elusive meaning known only to Alex and his mysterious buddy. The confusion persisted, with Alex playfully asserting, It just means something, adding an air of mystery to the interaction. Amidst the quirky banter, the conversation took an even more unexpected twist, with inquiries about squirting on jigglypuffs and lost virginity. The oddity of the questions seemed to escalate, until a proposal to exchange virginities was met with a firm no. However, just when it appeared that Alex was cementing himself as an eccentric character with these peculiar encounters, a surprising shift occurred. In a self-aware and self-deprecating video, Alex introduced a layer of complexity to his persona. Comparisons to Elliot Roger and a barrage of invented self-deprecating jokes left viewers questioning the authenticity of the bizarre persona he presented. Was it an elaborate troll, a genuine portrayal, or a nuanced form of satire? The answer remained elusive. Undeterred by the peculiar turn of events, Alex persisted in his quest for companionship. His journey became a roller coaster of strange encounters and self-reflective moments, captured in a mix of catcalling videos and introspective uploads. The ambiguous nature of his online presence intrigued and puzzled viewers. Downfall begins. In 2016, Z's peculiar antics caught the attention of Leafy Is Here, a prominent reaction commentator of the time. Leafy initially mocking Z in his video The Most Savage Man on the Entire Internet, added another layer of complexity to the narrative. As the story unfolded, the audience was left questioning whether Alex's actions were part of a weekly tradition, or a genuine quest for connection in the realm of unconventional approaches to dating. In his video The Most Savage Man, he talked about his absurd actions of asking a girl out every single week further. He crossed the line stating, picking up girls is a weekly tradition for him. This video not only poked fun at Zazef, but also ushered in a wave of thousands of new subscribers to his channel. Initially sent by Leafy to mock Zazef, these followers found themselves oddly captivated, sticking around to witness the antics of the self-proclaimed Insi YouTuber. In response to Leafy's provocations, Zazef threw down a challenge, flexing his year-and-a-half workout regimen and his ability to engage with girls. A back-and-forth banter ensued, prompting Leafy to intensify his content. Pickup line videos continued, and he ventured into more audacious audacious prank territory, disrupting businesses with loud outbursts, a deliberate attempt to disturb the peace and rile people up. Amidst the spectacle of pranks and trolling, a poignant undercurrent of frustration lingered in Alex. Behind the bravado was a lonely individual grappling with the inability to secure a girlfriend. The year 2018 marked a turning point when Alex decided to lay bare his feelings in a sombra video titled The Truth About Me. It's hard. I've never had a girlfriend before. To this day, I've never had a girlfriend, Alex confessed. His vulnerable ability laid bare. In a candid moment, he revealed the struggles of loneliness and his solace in the virtual world, where RuneScape became his refuge. As the narrative unfolded, Alex's desperation for companionship became increasingly apparent, even reaching a point of making a heartfelt plea on his Zeph channel. He created a video essentially begging girls to reach out to him on Instagram, proposing a real-life meeting. Have you ever wanted to be my girlfriend? Well, now's your chance. Send me a direct message, and don't forget to include your location so we can meet up in real life and be an actual boyfriend and girlfriend, he implored, exposing the depth of his yearning for connection in a world that had thus far eluded him. The trajectory of Alex's quest for a girlfriend took a suspicious turn over time. What initially began as an innocuous experiment that garnered support from viewers transformed into a disconcerting obsession as failures accumulated with age. 
Regrettably, a sequence of unsettling events unfolded, shedding light on Zazef's willingness to go to extreme lengths in his pursuit of female companionship. In 2018, Zazef took his efforts to a new level by actively live-streaming his attempts to pick up girls in his local area on YouTube. These disruptive live streams, however, caught the attention of local law enforcement. In a video titled, I Got Swatted by the Police, uploaded on April 17, 2018, Z suggested that the police weren't merely concerned about the disruption but were investigating him for sexual harassment. According to Z, the police showed up at his house, delving into his internet browsing history and questioning the nature of his live streams. He shared, Yesterday the cops knocked on my door, asked me what I'm doing with my live streams, and they told me I can't be sexually harassing girls and stuff. They said that I could get arrested. The revelation hinted at a disturbing turn in his pursuit, with legal implications surfacing due to the live streams and their potentially harmful impact on others. Yeah. Alex always seemed eager for female attention, but back then, most folks dismissed it as him just trolling. Even those who thought he was genuinely desperate didn't believe it was to this extent. If you scroll through the YouTube comments from that time, you'll find reactions from former fans, some predicting it was inevitable, some expressing disappointment, and others reflecting on the situation. Fast forward to the aftermath of the arrest and charges. Alex found himself behind bars, slapped with a four-year probation, and forced to register as a sex offender. Silence ensued. No updates on Z until 2019, when an alleged exchange with Zazef surfaced online, shared by an anonymous fan. What happened, man? You good? Cobb set me up, been in jail for a year, got a register for life and probation for four years. How long have you been out? Is the channel done? Looks like it's done. The probation officer suggested I delete Instagram and YouTube to avoid talking to anyone under 18. You're gonna upload any kind of update before the channel goes? Nah, I'm keeping it live as a piece of history. True to that last message, the Zef channel remains live but dormant. The last activity dates back to days before Zazef's arrest in May 2018. Zazef still lingers on YouTube, albeit on Zazef Live, with Alex streaming dual links and RuneScape, providing minimal commentary. It's a far cry from the pickup line prank days, and maybe that's a good thing. The tale of Zazef truly stands as one of the quieter narratives in the world of YouTube. In my perspective, Alex embodied a distinctive charm as a content creator. He possessed a quirky yet endearing personality, portraying a genuine underdog on a quest for a romantic partner. It wasn't just a comical channel premise, it was a cause that resonated with anyone cheering for the lovable nerd to find happiness in love. However, over time it became evident to me that what seemed like a joke was evolving into a rather unsettling fixation, influencing Alex's questionable actions both on and off camera. While it's true that Alex occasionally engaged in trolling, I believe his discussions about personal struggles were often more earnest than many realized. Alex was grappling with inner demons, desperately in need of support, yet it seems that those around him were unable to intervene. The narrative took a darker turn when it became apparent that his plea for connection with female viewers was not just a light-hearted request, but an alarming obsession seeping into his actions. Statements like, if you're a girl, viewer of mine, then please add me because I just wanted to maybe talk to you, and maybe if you live in my area you can come visit me, took a turn for the worse blurring the line between genuine outreach and an unsettling pursuit. What began as a quest for friendship ended up being the tragic downfall of Zazef. I encourage you to share your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you found it interesting. And, of course, suggest who or what you'd like me to discuss next. A big shout out to my patrons. I value your support. Until next time, ride the waves of the web, stay wavy, and peace out.